Let's say hi to Tammy Pescatelli. Hi, Tammy. Tammy. Hey, good hey. morning. Hey, Jimmy, you owe me that money then because I'm, I'm helping rise the star. <laughs> yes, well, I appreciate it. And so anything I get, I'll give you a percentage for my gigs. Way to go, Tammy. Way oh, to go. Yeah. Way hey, to go. You, so, look, this is it. I said what I said. It is probably, uh, you know, parallel thinking. It is. That does happen. I'm no genius on this. I'm no, you know, I'm not breaking any new ground as I've witnessed time and time again during my shows and especially on the Internet in the past couple of days. But I think I really, what you guys do know about me is that I'm a loyal friend. Mm-hmm. And I think what I did is get involved in something. I was the last to the party and I like drank the most and was the loudest. And that is really what I probably should have just kind of stayed out of it and kept my mouth shut. I shouldn't have accused somebody. It seemed that way that it was a lift. I didn't know if it's the writers. You do have to admit that the girl has had so much going on. And we do know that when you have all those things that you do sometimes have to employ writers. So originally when I first mentioned it, whatever months ago when the trailer was out and people were saying to me, congratulations, your jokes in train wreck. You wrote, you wrote for her or whatever. And then, I, I said, oh, some writer probably lifted it. And then I think time goes on and the memes come out. You know, people are stealing memes left and right and taking people's jokes and not getting credit. And then you look like you're hacking some meme company. I think that just gets fueled. And I saw Wendy, and I know Wendy's got a different position today, but that's kind of, you know, that's what I did. I jumped in. I got a big mouth. I say a lot of stupid stuff, but I certainly didn't do it for publicity. No. Well, I mean, you know, I could have, I got all those emails and you, Jimmy, you probably saw them because they probably want to talk to you too from Good Morning America and Inside Edition. And I don't want to be part, I, 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 d- really I, I did not get those emails. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy, well, forward that. me those emails. I did not get those. <laughs> oh, I'll do it. Let, let me tell you something about Jimmy. If he got those emails, those. he wouldn't be here right exactly. now. <laughs> I'd be hobnobbing with fucking Matt Lauer. <laughs> he would be looking good on TV <laughs> in well, his best shirt. So, so you got I, emails that they were all requesting you to come on, and you declined. Yeah, and look, no, and I did, and you can, Jonathan. We have a, the shared manager. Yes, you know that Jonathan Big Balls. You guys call him, which yeah. I have no idea if that's true or not. Well, we, uh, think, we, but, we think it's Big Balls over a Big Shaft. I don't know. I've, I've seen the outline. This. I've seen the outline. You've seen the outline of the shaft. I don't know. Yeah. In my mind, I have, but uh, <laughs> we still point and giggle. He gets so mad. It's it very uncomfortable. Oh, I love it. It's very He's uncomfortable wearing for fucking me. wetsuits. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you and you, and you know that uh, you know this thing. You know, when, once they the, they grab it online or whatever, it just kind of you know it goes everywhere. No, listen, I own it. I said it. I went too deep. I'm not trying to pass that off. The problem for me, I think, comes with the the only thing that I'd like to say is like number one, it went too far, and I agree. I for that, I'm super apologetic of it going too far because you know what I'm, you're trying to be funny you try to say you know at least bill cosby knocked his women out before he raped them right yeah it, it, you know it's funny in my head and it's probably but perhaps when it's linked like i heard you know that she was upset over that and you know what when you go back and you go okay yeah i get it i that, that was probably a, an asinine move but um, I knew what you were doing. Just as a comedian, you're writing something. Yeah. You're just making a comparison. Like that's just, that's a stand up yeah. comic thing to do. That's yeah, all. Are can't, you be, can't. are you being uh, intimidated a little bit? I mean, th- this is what you believe now, Tammy, or no, no, no. Or are I you mean, feeling I'm the heat that because I went too far? I yeah. Did, I okay. Did say that what I said was I have a I mean a nothing to do with that video. I have no idea. I wish yeah. I did not for what it stands, but I wish I knew how to do the quality of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, because it, my website would look much better. Um, I never, and I want, I never said one bad word about Rachel Feinstein to anyone. I was DMing with her last night. And like when I went to DM her, what, cause that honestly at first is one of the things that hurt oh. me the most. Let me, you know? let me bring it up. Cause I, I, I heard, uh, I heard the hour with Amy Schumer. Amy said that she blocked you a few years ago on Twitter, because, yeah, on Twitter because you uh, said something mean about her friend, Rachel Feinstein. Right. Feinstein. Right. Feinstein. Yeah who I barely know we we were she came out um for a show that I was doing not just me like it was the group of women I, I can't even think of what it's called right now um and something happened 
said, I have nothing to do with producers, and they let her go. It is not my show. Not, I barely knew her. I was fighting for, you know, just trying to figure out what I was doing on the show, my set. So I have no idea, and I had I can show you DMs of how I said, you're wonderful, I love you, I don't know. And then Rachel said to me today, this is, this is the problem. I feel like I'm in all this chick stuff, but I caused it, so I have to own that. Rachel said, I heard you said some stuff about me. So that's not true. I didn't. And that's that. Um, I don't know. I don't, you know, I think Amy has done a lot for comedy and that's always good for all of us. I think that what's the funny thing though, is that I'm the only one being ripped apart. I think Wendy did a 180 and now she's clear. And I think that it's just, I'm not trying to get something going in my career. Who, who's uh, ripping I'm, you apart, though? I, I don't think you should be ripped apart. For like, you, I don't think you. No, you know not what I mean? On the internet. No. Honestly, Jimmy, on the internet, not really. I mean, other comedians are like DMing me stuff that I don't even want, or you know, saying because they're afraid. I don't want anything to do with it anymore. What the one thing is is that I didn't didn't say that. I don't have the foresight. Rich knows. Yeah. He and I, I mean, I'm close with Rich, and they know that I don't have the foresight to plan stuff out. Obviously, well, you know what? Because he, I could. Who could take on that? You know, it's it's Madonna's. P, I can't. That wasn't the point for me. I don't. It's and it's understandable that she would think that. Um, you know, I have nothing going on or whatever because I would have said that at, in my 30s with all that heat that she has too about. You know, a 45 year old mother. And wife who moved to Pennsylvania. I mean, obviously, I did it on purpose. I, I don't think that choice, was like you know? Tammy. I don't think that was. In, in all honesty, I was sitting with her. I don't think you're a funny Tammy, comic. I don't think, think when she said the famous Tammy P. That wasn't. I mean, you. Be no, 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 no. Me, meaning, I don't think that was done. Like, hey, let me just sh- fuck Tammy Pesky. I think that was more like, hey, look, I'm mad that this person said that. Why would she say that? But I don't think that was like literally sitting down and going, hey, boy, that Tammy has nothing going. But you know, why? Like, when everybody, that was my concern. That's, she's right. She has every right to be mad. But it's funny that three people walk in a room and only one is an asshole. I don't, I don't know unless no. she, again, I, that I didn't get into, to be honest. I didn't ask that question. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't read it like that, but I, I don't, uh, that I can't answer. Well, you know, it, here's the thing, Tammy, ahead. and I said this earlier, comics will, will do what you guys did because you want people to know, hey, I didn't take this bit from Amy. You know what I mean? Right. So there's a lot of times comics will protect. You know, I, I've gotten calls, hey, I'm doing a bit like yours or you're doing a bit like mine. And I go, okay, well, if, whatever. If I think I came up with it, I keep it. If I, if I don't think I came up with it, then I drive. I mean, you know, I've had these in the past. The only, you know, it's, it's basically comics are doing, on Amy's side and on, on your guy's side is comics are doing this for the respect from other comics. It has really nothing to do with the public. It's about letting other comics know, hey, I'm not a thief, or hey, you know what I mean? And and, and that's basically what it comes down to. I don't give a fuck what uh, Joe Shimo uh, thinks about me, but I do care about what Colin or Norton, or you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I get it. So. And I get that, that there is parallel thinking, and I do think that people's jokes sit in the back of your mind. I mean, we've all had those jokes that come out of our mouth, and then you call your friends and you go, hey, have you ever heard this? Because it came out too perfectly. Did someone do it? I get that. And I get that, you know, there's a lot of parallel thinking going on here with all the comics involved. And I, and I, I get that. So, you know, my only issue is that, you know, I just didn't want to be involved in a cat fight. But how stupid! I I jumped right in the middle of one. Yeah, so, so sometimes yeah. that's the online culture. You know, you say something yeah. in in a moment or whatever, or you or you make a point, or you, mm-hmm. and then it just all of a sudden now you're a part of a thing. So you know, however, I, I mean, you know, however you feel about it is. I uh, think. Am, uh, am, am, am I the only one that wants to see a cat fight between Amy Schumer uh, and uh, Tammy Pescatelli? Well, that would have been the publicity. Listen, Preferably in some I, loose fitting clothing. I, I, I'm going to say something <laughs> about Tammy that Tammy and 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 this is I'm not I don't give a fuck on any. Tammy and Bonnie didn't get along, and Tammy called Bonnie and apologized for something in the past, and they became good friends. Tammy, so it, it takes a lot for a person 
basically in life to do a tenth step when they don't know what a tenth step is, <laughs> is to admit they're wrong and come to that person and go, hey, you know what? I was caught up in this, and they, they're, they're friends. Tammy, do you get along with anyone? Yeah, no. I guess <laughs> no. not. Am I right? <laughs> she goes, I guess not. I, am I right with that, though? Didn't you and Bonnie become... Yeah, well, that was just to get closer to you, Rich. <laughs> I, can't, I gave you a ride home from your taping when I started dating yes, Bonnie. Yes, that was before you met. No, I now, gave you a ride to the airport. You know, I thought I did. It's funny because, you know what? I thought I did, to be honest with you. What? I thought I had a great, um, you know, the, the time, it was... I had fun with Amy the week that she came. She was young and, and so excited about last comic, and there was a bomb threat at the at the uh, comedy club. Why was Norton working? While we were, yes, exactly. No, but for real, like a real bomb threat, and they sent it out to her, and she was like, she thought that we were messing with her, and like I had to walk out on stage and go, no, no, we're leaving, and grab her hand, and we jumped down and walked out, and then the rest of the people came with us. So I don't know. I think... Look, I, I really, really, really think I was trying to stick up for someone who I didn't think had a voice. And so, when, you know. when do you, Kathleen, and Wendy start the tour? Yes, I right. Please, Wendy. I think now. I think Wendy's probably close to being mad at me. I, I think I went too far for her, and I probably went too far. And you know, Kathleen doesn't need either of us on her tour. And and Wendy's. Um... You know, Wendy gave really interesting examples in an email, which I read a little earlier. I don't know if you were listening, about parallel thinking jokes. And and then look, there's a difference between parallel thinking and stealing. But like Wendy literally listed a joke. My boyfriend put me on a pedestal so he could look up my skirt. And then she acknowledged that that was a, a, a joke that was exactly like one Steve Martin had done in the 70s. And it's literally the same joke. And she didn't uh, steal it. No, yeah, of course not. I Wendy's brilliant. She's not a thief. But yeah. so, so there no. are things, things that... Wait, who's calling everybody thieves? Then? No, that's what I'm saying. No, you know, Wendy's a brilliant comic. I get it. I get it. I think that, I think that you know, at the end of the day, it seemed like it was something to me. I, it, perhaps it's not. It seems like there's a lot of the parallel thinking... I knew, I said, it, what I did say is that no matter what I say, you can't say anything because you're going to be thought of as jealous or career shamed. That did exactly happen across the board. So I might not be a good comic, but I'm a psychic. What I've learned um, over the years with this, it's not black and white either. It's a very gray line between parallel thinking and someone actually stealing. Like, how do you know for sure that someone is stealing in the end? The idea of, like, like something like the idea, and I, I, I don't know what your whole bit is, but I, but I know the no, line... No, I of, don't even really remember it either anymore, to be honest with you. I do, because I'm doing but it, But the too. line about, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, hey, that's a cool sweater, did your wife dress you, because this way no one else will fuck you, is one of those things that I have been hearing in, in clubs since I started. And it's like, a lot of times, Rich, Rich said before, it's off crowd work. It's like, I used to do a joke about losing your erection uh, when you, uh, you know, drank. And, and I compared it to something. And then I saw somebody else on stage doing a very similar joke. And there's like th these things that we do that we're not, we're not thieves or hacks, but they just like, oh God, that one has been, you know, that's been bandied around with crowd work mm. for fucking 40 years. So it's not like... Uh, something that was topical and to the day. I that get was, it. Yeah. But, but, I'm, not, but I'm not it. saying that your bit is bad. I don't know what your bit no, is. No, 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 no. And, uh, you know, I honestly, I don't remember. Some, it, that was the one. There have been a couple others. That was the one that there was an example of. And then when I heard that other people had other things, here's what happens. Usually, you it becomes character or circumstance with a comic. Like you go, you hear, oh, so-and-so did your joke. And then you go, you look at their act and you say, um, is, are they all, is it all like that? Does it all seem lifted or is it personal stuff or is it just an accident? And you, you think, so for me, what happened is I had that. I didn't go crazy six months ago or seven months ago, but when it seemed like other people were going through that, then I thought, okay, wait a second. This must be the thing. And so whatever's right or wrong about it, that's where it came from. And it wasn't a witch hunt and nor, you know, nor should it be on the other end. But in it, and now it's not a witch hunt. It's just me. Yeah, no, it should. I, I don't think anybody should. It's one of these things that, okay, it happens. It gets blown up. Because people love, yeah, and again, I, people, I include me, everyone loves a fight. Like, everyone loves to see shit happen. We all look at accidents. We, When two people are, are fucking scrapping, we all sit back and enjoy it on some level. 
So when you and Amy or whatever is, are, are, are going to go at it publicly, or, or like that's the perception, everyone's like, ooh. I would have to be a complete, one thing I am not is another moron. I would have to be completely and utterly a moron if I didn't feel like what I said was right. Now, I'm not saying like the stuff when I went a little bit too far. You know what I mean? Mm. But when I said it, I felt justified. I mean, I'm not, this is not an insult. This is a compliment. Amy has a career. She has guy, I don't know how you pronounce his last name. Oh, Sarah, she's got Madonna's manager. I can't defeat Madonna PR. You know what I mean? If I didn't believe I was in the right, that is one of, and always been one of my problems, is I'm a right fighter. And I believe that. And that's one of the things that, you know, when we talk about Patrice, he, at first, you know, he liked me for that. That's how, how you know, and sometimes it's too much, trust me, just like this whole conversation. <laughs> no, but no. I'm, I'm glad you called in and, and, and you know, and, um, and, and talked. I'm happy to hear from you. And I can, I can see why you would be upset, you know, when you first uh, see all that. If you think before somebody you takes in, your stuff, yeah, of course. Before you dig in and really start, you know, trying to digest the whole thing. I, I would understand. I would understand why someone would be upset. You know their first reaction. Definitely, yeah, I, it just is what it is. I'm not. I don't. I don't respect the backtrack. I'm sorry that it got so big and got so crazy. And I'm sorry that I couldn't have reached out to her and said something because that's when I did try. Is when I couldn't reach out to her. I, because I was blocked. I don't know why I didn't think to call you, Jimmy, or even Kenny, because I didn't even know about that relationship to to ask her about that. I should have kind of went to her, mm. but I didn't have that option. So when I tried to DM her, it wasn't there, and now that all goes back to Rachel, who I think is amazing, and I never said anything well, bad about her. Well, there are other people. Well, let's look on the bright side. Uh, Good Morning America mentioned Jim Norton's name about 20 minutes ago. That's, that's what, what it's this all is, about. That's what and this I, is about. I'm telling you. Know that he keeps his charger on the right side of the bed. Yeah, <laughs> God, everyone, everyone has heard the show, Jimmy. All right, Tammy, come in and see us soon. All right. All right, guys. Thank all you. Right. Later. Thank you for calling in, Tammy. Tammy Pescatelli, no everyone. Right, take very, care. Very funny comic. She's a funny comic. Very and funny. I like Tammy very much.